what up guys it's your boy back at you again with another video i'm finally putting up the q a video i'm here with my bro <laughs> that's it i want to thank everyone that's uh showing my channel support you guys are freaking awesome um as of right now i hit 156 subscribers since yesterday i think so yeah let's get into this q a video guys all right guys um I, I got three tweets from one of my friends, Antonio. If you're watching, this is what you wrote. Uh, what's your next milestone? My next milestone will be 200 subscribers, hopefully, before next year. Well, in the middle of next year or something like that. So, yeah, 200. And the next question was, what's your favorite game of all time? I'll do give that for both of us. Um... Mine's always been Final Fantasy. I love Final Fantasy. That's my favorite game of all time. <laughs> it's boring. It puts me to sleep. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I like Prince of Persia, but Uncharted is pretty awesome. I I like it. I like the whole story of everything, but playing online, I fucking suck at it. <laughs> I hate the online. I can't do good at all. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with Uncharted because they got... Four games and all of them been good. <laughs> all right, then going on to the next question. Uh, how old are you? How old do I look? <laughs> I'm actually 33, so yeah, yeah. I don't think you have to answer that. <laughs> I'm 27. <clears throat> so, and then like I told you guys on my recent video that I've uploaded, it's. Uh, I downloaded a generator showing like all kinds of random questions. So me and my brother are gonna answer some of the questions. So yeah, let's do this. Alright guys, here we go. This is the question generator random question generator is the one I downloaded. I'll put the link down in the description so you guys can check it out yourself if you guys want to do a QA video also. So we're gonna push start. Okay, here we go. Uh I push start, I don't know what's going on. Okay, what song always puts you in the mood, in a good mood? Uh, <laughs> a good so mood. So many to choose from. Good mood, good mood. I'm always in a bad mood, sad mood. I'm gonna have to go with this new one I just found recently. It's a uh, Numb by Sick Kick. Oh, is that the one you showed me before? Yeah. Okay, that that one is actually a good song. But a good mood for me, I don't know. Oh, it, it's a uh, it's his newest one he just put out. But oh, same thing. okay. Well, I don't know what song that is then. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. In a good mood, I think I'm not a big fan. Never was. A tech mine. His uh, what's the name of that song? Strange music. <laughs> uh, Leave me alone. Leave me alone. That song puts me in a good mood because it's it's it's, a, it's an awesome song. So, <laughs> on to the next question. Next one will be, what restaurant do you eat at most? What restaurant do I eat at at most? Lately, I haven't really been eating nowhere because since I've been working out, I've not been out there. Well, okay, recently I went to Burger King. That's not really. Restaurant, but fast food restaurant. <laughs> uh, nothing really. Uh, Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the other day I was working and my uncle got uh, that 10 for 10. Mm -hmm. So we had a big uh, whopper. So that's the like the restaurant the closest I can get to. I mean, I haven't been out eating anywhere like that. So. <laughs> yeah. Small tab. <laughs> Alright, on to the next question. Alright. We're on our third? Fourth? Fourth fifth? Fifth. Something like that. Yeah, fifth question. Okay. What is the best restaurant in your area? <laughs> <laughs> um but well here so I'd say uh that Mexican restaurant. Um I can never say it either. We're Mexican. We can't, Mexican, we can't speak Spanish. <laughs> I'm going to say this as best as I can. El Caporal. 
Yeah, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> there you go. That's probably the best one we got around here. Yep. I'm going to go with the same answer that he said because there's not nothing really here. I mean, there's we Jack got in the Box. Yeah. <laughs> fast food restaurants all up and down this road. And then over there where the main, like, mom, the only store we have in this town is Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> and everything is surrounded by Walmart. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's the best restaurant. So, on to the next question. What do you think about reality TV? Why is it so popular? I think it's dumb because you're watching other people live their life and you could be living your own life. Why live through someone else vicariously? That's true. Uh, I kind of say the same for some vloggers, also. And I'm not like ragging on the vloggers or nothing because. I do, I do vlog sometimes, but like, I don't know, I feel like if you watch my life and I'm doing it, I'm like, you guys could do something better than watching We're me. We're doing it, you guys watch it, you're like, oh yeah, I want to do something like that, go out and do it. Don't just keep going watching yeah. different people do stuff, do what you want to do. There's a lot, I mean, there's a lot of vlogs I want to do, so that's going to be in the future, maybe next year, that I'm planning, but I mean, I, I like doing it, you know, it's cool, but reality TV... I hate watching it because most of the acting is fake. Yeah. Um, and you can tell some of the stuff is fake. And I don't know. So, yeah, that's what we think about that. <laughs> what did you guys think? I mean, all the questions that we're answering, you guys can comment down below and write your answers on some of the questions that we talked about. So, okay. To the next question. How should success be measured? Yeah, it can be in all different kinds of ways. Uh, hmm. How to put this right? <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, success could be measured many different ways. Uh, if you're barely starting working out, you know, you could set set a goal for yourself. You reach that goal. You just succeed it or just by a few your goal in life is to have a family and your own house good job a car he's you're successful you succeed it and it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be rich yeah money's so, not everything yeah i mean yes it does help but it's just what you are planning you set for yourself and as it doesn't matter how big how small you reach it yeah, so I can't agree. I, I don't know what else to really say to that, but like the whole success thing, like everybody's thinking, oh, I gotta be rich. That's their main goal is like being rich. You're yeah. not gonna become rich right away, man. It takes a long process to do. So, I mean, just keep doing what you do and you accomplish your own thing in your own way. So, I mean, I mean, I don't know what else to say to that, so <laughs> I'm not really smart in that way, so... Okay, on to the next question. What personal goals do you have? That's in the same situation. <laughs> same category, but for me, personal goal of mine was, is losing weight, and just recently started working out not so long ago, and I lost altogether, I want to say, 30 pounds. So that's awesome. That's a personal goal there. <laughs> mine, mine also. I mean, I, I lost almost 34, 30, 34, 32 pounds. And I was like, I didn't even realize I was that much weight, you know? But yeah, I mean, I've been working out almost since January, or January. That's way too fucking long. <laughs> uh, in June, when I first started working out, and I've been doing this since, and I mean, it takes a long process for you to yes, lose a lot of stuff. So, I mean, it's not going to come right away. Like some people, they work out for maybe a day and they're like, I don't see no results. Motherfucker, you only did it one day. You got to keep going. You still got months and months to come. I mean, so. And that, then there's those people that just walk into gym and they drop 10 pounds like that. <laughs> <laughs> so. I hate y'all. <laughs> it's crazy, man. But yeah, that's that's also mine too. I mean. To be healthier, 
do good stuff. I mean, good stuff for myself, you know. So like, be like, oh, I got my own car, I got my own place, stuff like that. That's my my goals, you know. Hopefully, soon it will happen. <laughs> but yeah, on to the next question, guys. <clears throat> what are some things you want to accomplish before you die? I want to go skydiving. Uh, yeah, that's like my main thing now. That's what I'm working for. <laughs> Skydiving. I want to go to Paris. Mm, maybe surf. I don't know because I don't know how to swim. That would be something <laughs> cool to try. Yeah. I want to go to Disney World. Disneyland. Disney World. Is it from Florida, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I want to go over there. I would like to go to Six Flags again. <laughs> I want to go to New York. Yeah, yeah I want to go there. I actually want to go to Colorado. <laughs> you guys all know what I'm talking about. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's that's mine also. So I mean, not like that, but Paris and all, I would like to go, but I think just staying in the U.S. I think it'll be okay. <laughs> so let's do the next question. <laughs> okay. Um, what is the most annoying habit someone can have? <laughs> <laughs> talking a lot. <laughs> I'm not a talker, so when somebody's talking like blah 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 the whole time, I'm like, please shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I zone them out. Like, oh yeah, I'm like I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> um, what was it again? <laughs> what is the most annoying habit someone can have? Smacking when they're eating food, even with their mouth open. <laughs> that. Oh, that's annoying. Especially if you take a girl on a date and you're. and she's like. Shut your mouth. I'm like, uh. <laughs> yeah. I actually had a girl that do that one time. And I just looked at her and she was like. <laughs> then she started eating normal. I was like, what the fuck? I didn't have to say anything, she already knew. <laughs> I think she knew she had that habit, but uh, that habit, but realized it more when I looked at her like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" <laughs> yeah, that and staring. Oh yeah. Don't stare at me. It's annoying. I hate that crap. That man. Get, it's a quick way to piss me off. And <laughs> they're just like, and then you look at them, and they know you're looking at them, looking at you. It's like, stop looking at me. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think a lot of people do that to see if you get to intimid, intimid, intimidated. There you go, that word. But yeah, I I don't, but I just get really upset. And if I have something in my hand or something, I'm going to hit you with it. <laughs> yeah. I've done that a few times. You, get, you know, when we go to the store, like a couple of years back, <laughs> I would when somebody would be staring, <laughs> I'm going to hit you in the head with this bottle that I have <laughs> and shit. I mean, <laughs> that shit yeah. does piss me off too, though. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> on to the next question. Okay, if you had an intro music, what song would it be and why? Hmm. An <laughs> intro music? Yeah, so you like walk in and the music turns on and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> so like when you're entering the room? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> intro music, huh. That's a hard one. I think the Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> I think I'll go with that song, the Eye of the Tiger. With my hood on, walking. The Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> I don't know which one. Oh man. Hmm. I think that one. <laughs> I think I do. I think I'll do good with that one. And I was, <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day too, like. <laughs> I had one picked out and I don't know now. I don't know. It'd probably have to be like a e God smack, I stand alone. I knew you were going to say that. I already knew it because when that song first came out, he listened to that song a lot. And that, that's the first song I kind of pictured. But I'm like, no, he, he probably going to pick something else. <laughs> that would be the song. That song is a good song though. It was on that uh, 
the uh, Scorpion King. There you and go. And Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. Oh, that's right. Yep. So yeah. <laughs> that would be it. Or a Tech Nine song. One of those. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I listen to Tech Nine a lot, but I don't know if I have a song to pick from there to do an intro yet. I don't know yet. Maybe. I think I could see a song happening when I'm intro. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I pick Tech Nine Dysfunctional. I don't know the name of the song, but I. I don't know. <laughs> or the other one I said, Dark Knight. Yeah. Who On to the next one. life brings you the most joy? My son. <laughs> When, when he's with me, you know, but other than that, it's just, you said one person? Anybody? Yeah. Who in your life brings you the most joy? Well, my family, my brothers, my mom and dad, my nephews and nieces. Yeah. yeah. I love all my uncles and aunts and cousins and stuff, but like growing up with my brothers and, you know, mom and dad and stuff, and my nephews and nieces and my son, you know, we're always together, so I mean, the whole bias family. Yeah. <laughs> I love my my family too, you know. I don't get that wrong, don't get it twisted or anything. I love you guys too, but you guys feel the same way with your family too. So I mean yeah. I think that too. So Yep. Same. <laughs> so on to the next question, unless you have more. No, that was it. Okay, here we go. How often do you stay up? past 3 a.m. <laughs> Every day. Because he works I <laughs> work graveyard shift. I work, I work, I don't know if it's graveyard. Is kind it? Kind of, sort of. Sort of. I, I work four hours. He works part-time graveyard. Yeah. So I am past over 3 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get home? I watch a movie, stay up for a little bit, maybe till like 5, 30, 6, and then I go to bed. <laughs> so yeah, I stay after. <laughs> I work. Nights, 10 to 7, every day. <laughs> well, he's way past it every day. <laughs> Except, well, even on his days, days off. off. I'm still up past 3 a.m. So, yeah. <laughs> on to the next question, guys. What do you hope to achieve in your professional life? Your professional life? I'm taking that as, like, where do you want to be in life? Hmm. I want to be a chef. That's what I want to be. Completing my professional life, I want to become a chef and hopefully own a restaurant. That'd be awesome. I'll go eat there every day. <laughs> but for me, I think the whole thing, there's a lot of things I've always wanted to do. I always wanted to be an artist, a professional dancer, um, kind of like a singer, rapper, sort of thing. I mean, I'm not good, you know, but just little things. But to me right now, I want to be a, a, a good YouTuber right now. It's what, I, what I'm working towards, you know. Um, I'm kind of lacking on videos, but, you know, I've been doing it for a while now. So, yeah. I mean, I've been putting the work in, and I know it takes a long time. So, I'm being patient with it. I think I want to be a good YouTuber. You know, like all the good YouTubers out there right now. There's a there's a few of them that I watch daily. I mean, but yeah, that's what I want to do. So, yeah. What about you guys? <laughs> I don't even know what question we're on. <laughs> we just keep going. On um, question, whatever number you want. Next question. <laughs> yes. <it's all. laughs> How many apps do you have on your phone? How many apps? Um, Go ahead and count them if you want, because I know you've got quite a bit. <laughs> I do have a lot. <laughs> Let me see, I'm gonna count them real quick. One, two, three, Thirty-four. I have thirty-four. <laughs> Not. I didn't count the ones that are already in my phone, but the ones I downloaded was thirty-four apps. That's crazy. I never really counted them. 
Wow. That's a lot of X, for me anyway. I have 40 apps. Boy, he beat me. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to win. I have 40 apps on my phone. 34 here. <laughs> oh, I got to delete some stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I didn't really stop to count my apps. I just downloaded stuff on there. Uh huh. Hmm. So I guess that's that question. <laughs> if you could call anyone in the world, who would it? Who would you call? Anyone in the anyone world? Anyone in the world? The, they, can they be alive or they have to be dead? I mean, be de can you call? I don't know. You know what I mean? Can it be dead or live people? Like live people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. In the, world. the Rock. <laughs> hey Rock, if you're watching the Rock, if you're watching the, text me a number. <laughs> I like to get to know some of your workouts. <laughs> That'd be freaking awesome. I mean, I don't know if I could handle it, but yeah, I think I would call the Rock. I don't know who I call. Hmm. I don't know. I got nothing on that one. What about if you call Tech Nine? <laughs> I don't know. Nope, no. I got nothing. <laughs> well, he didn't get to answer that question, so... I got nothing on that one. <laughs> For me, I, Brock, if you're watching, take me a number. Next question. Which do you prefer? Popular music or relative, relatively unknown music? Relatively... Rel <laughs> unknown. Underground music. Yeah. Cause the ones that are way up there, they're not really good anyway, to me. Yeah. Well, I don't know. There's like two of them up there. There's but a couple, but I most go with the underground. Yeah, underground music. That's what I like the most too. Relatively unknown music. Popular answers. What about you guys? Okay. On to the last question, right? Oh, we have one more. Oh, one more. One more after this. Who is your oldest friend? Where did you meet them? My oldest friend would be Andrew. My friend Andrew. I met him when we moved here from Texas. And I met him at elementary school. Me? I have two. It says friend. So I don't know if it can be one or two. But my friend Timothy and my friend Yvette. I both went to school with them. Tim, I met him in junior high. Or, yeah, junior high. And then we've known each other since. Yvette, I met her first grade. First grade or something like that. Kindergarten. I don't know if it was kindergarten. No, it wasn't. couldn't be kindergarten. I think it was first grade. And until now, I still know you. I, I still know her. <laughs> So if you guys are watching, please smash the thumbs up button. <laughs> well, my oldest friend would be uh, Lulu, but he didn't remember me. <laughs> bastard. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Has anyone ever saved your life? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> Not that I know of. What about you? You? You remember when we went swimming? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I almost drowned you. Okay, there's a backstory to that. I kept telling my brother, hey, don't go that far because that, that would take you out. It's like a, you have a little, it's weird how the, the river is set up. It's like one spot, it, it won't move. But if you go into that little current, it'll take you, okay? So my brother went out there, and I was, he's like, I can't, I can't, I don't know, he can't swim or something like that, or so he couldn't touch the floor anymore. I don't know, I was, I was about to die. <laughs> so I was like, hold on, I'll be over there. So I went over there to help him, and he was all trying to drown me. I was trying to, I was like, stop it. <laughs> it was like, if you've ever seen Spongebob, when Patrick had a butt cramp, and Pat, they were trying to save him, and he kept drowning him, that's what it was like. <laughs> that was crazy, but yeah, okay, I forgot about that. <laughs> yep. So he saved me, and then when I was in high school, I was lifting weights. I thought I was all strong. I lifted it up. I was benching. I lifted it up. I got it down, up, down. I couldn't get it up, and I was there. 
And my friend Alan went over there and lifted it up off me. And he said, Nico, I just saved your life. <laughs> <laughs> Two people. Dang, I don't, I don't, I don't know. If, it's hard to think. I don't think nobody's, nobody's had. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of anything. So one question we both didn't answer. Because yeah. I, I don't have an answer. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, yeah. I don't know. I can't think of anything. So, but, uh, one more question, right? Yeah. That's all the questions, guys. Uh, I don't know how many we did. I think we, we just kept going and going, so. But, yeah, um, thank you for watching. And I want to thank my brother for joining me on this Q&A video. Uh, if you guys want to see, I, th I was thinking, I don't know, maybe I'll do every, sun every other Sunday, you know, a Q&A video. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Um... Yeah, uh, if you guys like this shirt, I, I was going to tell you guys about the shirt. Uh, it's Fam Above All, Still Under God. If you guys are want to be part of the movement, I, I'll put the link down in the description. Uh, contact my one of my friends. Uh, he's getting mo gathering money for uh, a charity he wants to donate to uh, a kid's, uh, kids charity. Yeah shelter and stuff like that for Christmas, Thanksgiving and stuff like that. He's gathering money for that. If you guys want to help out, you get a cool shirt. I mean, he has two different styles. Like I said, I'll put the link down in the description. You guys can check it out. Um, a shout out to him, you know, too. Um, and my friend Antonio for always supporting my channel and the people that do so watch my videos and stuff. Um, if you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe. Comment down below, like, share. Um, like I said, I want to thank my brother for joining me. So, peace out, God bless you guys, and it's a happy anniversary for my channel. I'm just so excited. It's it's cool. <laughs> so yeah, peace out, God bless you guys, and hope to see you guys in the next video. Yeah.